how you all doing? Yeah, I'm here. It's Leash. Leisha. And I'm the founder of Bouncing Back. And if you're wondering what's happened to my eye, I'm suffering with something called conjunctivitis. And I believe it's just the stress of life, of the things I've taken on, the things that I've allowed. So I just look well twisted and crooked. You get me? I might have to do a take two like that. Yeah. Hi, good evening everybody. How you all doing? This post, this recording, this whatever you want to call it has been, I'm going to use the word, triggered. <laughs> yeah, triggered. Um by somebody who I would consider that I've known of and been around for a certain period of my life when I was younger. Don't know much about them per se now um, or where they are in life. I know certain things about them, what they've chosen to share, but I wouldn't consider them somebody that I know well and they don't know me well. They posed a question on Facebook that was, why do people associate depression with anxiety? Now, before I go any further, if you're all wondering what's happened here, I've got an eye infection, okay? So, it's being treated, so forgive me if I'm continuously blinking and if I'm not particularly pleasant to look at right now. So, I will try and just sit like this, maybe, so you don't get distracted. Um, why do people associate depression or why do they link anxiety and depression? Okay, so I'm going to speak from a very personal perspective, okay? For some time now, I have checked the depression box. I do have my reasons as to what's made me feel very low at times and I've not always managed to pull myself back up, all right? So depression can affect you mentally and emotionally. Um, there are things that we can do to make ourselves feel better. There's medication that can be prescribed that actually dampens certain senses in the brain, certain senses in the body, certain emotions. So therefore you kind of suppress that low feeling. Um, antidepressants make you numb. So they don't only make you numb to feeling bad, but they also make you numb to feeling good. They turn off the brain receptors that actually transmit that type of emotion that make you feel low. Now I never ever wanted to check that box, but there are certain things in my life that haven't gone always according to plan. I've not made the best decisions and I've carried a lot of crap with me for quite some time let's just put it that way and i've spent a lot of time trying to get myself out of certain situations but also emotionally feeling better and i've never really given myself time to understand or overstand or understand self and i bounced through life just thinking that i was coping in regards to anxiety i never suffered with any anxiety per se you know that nervousness that gut-wrenching feeling now we all have different levels of when we'll feel nervous when we'll feel uncomfortable when we're in an environment that isn't conducive or doesn't make us feel good we can suffer certain levels of anxiety maybe being the only person of color in the room maybe being the only woman in a room maybe being the only person with locks in a room or around a certain type of people um i'm sure when if we had to go on stage and give a speech or even doing a recording going on facebook going on instagram going on your socials and doing a live interacting with people that can bring a certain level of anxiety sweaty palms um stuttering not knowing what to say you know, not being your normal self. There's no flow in regards to the conversation because you're not used to being in that forum. You're not used to putting yourself out there in that environment. So it can bring on a certain level of stress or a certain level of uncomfortableness, like I said, which people equate to anxiety. Now that's a low level anxiety. We also have high level anxiety where it feels like you're having a potential stroke, for example. Um, parts of you will feel very tingly. They may even go numb. They may even be similar to potentially having a mild heart attack where your heart rate is so fast and uncontrollable that you don't know whether you're actually going to be able to slow yourself down. You're unable to breathe. You're unable to communicate. You're shaking in a way that is uncontrollable. 
I've only ever experienced that maybe two or three times in my whole entire life. But I didn't uncheck the depression box. So that's why people sometimes associate the two. And not in every instance is a person depressed who has anxiety and also vice versa. Not everybody who suffers with anxiety is depressed. So the point of me making this was is that someone's trying to point out what my triggers were because they wanted to use the terminology girl in the middle of a conversation. So I'm going to make a different live or a different recording about communication, especially on a public forum. So I just wanted to just make sure that I personally put out there what it is I feel depression and anxiety is. Why people can sometimes link the two and is it a trend for some people? Is it a way for them to feel comfortable around other people with anxiety? Are they trying to find common ground? Are they an empath? There are lots of reasons as to why there are negative connotations towards depression and also anxiety. But I won't be disrespected when I'm trying to help somebody understand that if you're going through it and you have a little bit of insight into what it is, I don't want to be judged by somebody who doesn't want to admit their own insecurities, their own triggers, their own traumas. With that being said, thank you for taking the time. Like, subscribe, 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 <laughs> kind of get my teeth in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, health is wealth is what I always say. Yeah, not just health as in financial wealth. Being healthy up here means that you're wealthy in here. And we're all on that road. Hopefully. <laughs> I say it like that. Yeah, one day we might be on that road like that where we're all actually not dealing with mental illness, but dealing with mental wealth and mental wealth. Peace and love, peeps. Peace and love. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bouncing back, baby. Bye. <laughs>